Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a category video for you guys. And this one is military, like World War I, World War II items to be on the lookout for. Items that you can pick up at estate sales or garage sales or thrift stores even. And that have some sort of like military um, background or whatever to them. Military items can definitely be a bolo. So I'm going to show you some solds of um, military bolo items, items that you should definitely be looking for. And you're going to see why. And some of them are unexpected. I think you might be a little bit surprised by um, what some of these sell for and some of the items that you might have just walked by and thought was trash. All right. So we're going to get started here. The first item we're going to talk about is vintage clothing, vintage World War II clothing. So that can be jackets, um, pants, boots, anything that they wore during the war. And I like this word stenciled because you see here it is stenciled. I think that's a great word to put in the title. Um, these pants sold for $350 with 55 bids. Um, they're camouflage pants for those of you listening and not watching. The next item is this uh, lantern. And I saw a lot of vintage military lanterns, lanterns when I was searching this category. So it is definitely something to be on the lookout for. This sold for $206.50 with 58 bids and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Rogers Coleman military camp stove with case. It says unfired. So it's never been used. Super cool. It sold for $110. Um, and the buyer paid shipping. It says it's from 1963. Show you a little bit. There's the date on it. I was like, how do they know that? So very cool. I wouldn't even know what that is unless it had, well, it looks like it's got the instructions. So I would know how to, to put the title on for that one. I love it when things come with instructions. The next item is, um, it's a huge lot of vintage US military pins, ribbons, medals, a hat. So um, these items alone could be a bolo. A reseller could actually be buying this to resell. Um, a great place to source is on eBay. So if you know military stuff, I highly recommend that you look on eBay for sellers that don't know it like me. Like I lot stuff up all the time because I don't want to look each item up. So I'm like, I'll just lot it and sell it as a lot and I'll move on. So there are other people out there like me that do the same thing. I'm not saying it's the best thing to do as a seller, but sometimes I just don't have the time or the patience um, to look each thing up, especially like pins and um patches and stuff like that. Now it, I'll do the image search. And if I don't pull anything up, sometimes I just give up, but this lot sold for $144 and 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping. So let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I looked, I mean, there might be close to 50 items there. So if they sold each item for 10 bucks each, the, as a reseller, that person's going to make some money. I mean, I don't know what each item's worth, but you know, you get my drift. The next item are these vintage green military boots from 1967 jungle spike military boots sold for a hundred dollars with 41 bids and free shipping. The next item is this world war II vintage ashtray. Super cool. It's, um, Looks like the, it's the USS Yorktown. I believe that's Navy, right? So pretty cool. This sold for $297 with 39 bids. This Zippo lighter, lighter Zippos can be a huge bolo. If you see a Zippo, definitely search solds because some of these go for crazy money. This one sold for $310. It's from 1958. It had 35 bids and free shipping. Okay, these patches, these are vintage. It says question mark military patches, so they're not 100% sure. Um, it has to be something special though because they sold for $510 with 34 bids. These patches have been used and are dirty. So 
Um, yeah, pretty interesting. The next item is this vintage um, British military gas mask. It sold for $88 with 34 bids. And you're probably all saying, where on earth am I going to find one of those? But actually, a member of my Facebook group found something very similar. I don't remember where he found it. But I was like, you find the weirdest stuff. Um, like, who has that, like, sitting at an estate sale or a thrift store or a garage sale? Like, it's just an odd item to find. But don't say never because I have found things that I didn't think I would ever find. So just be on the lookout. The next item are these vintage 1970s military issued um, sunglasses. They're for pilots. These sold for $280.50 with 34 bids and the buyer paid shipping. This U.S. Army parka coat from the 50s sold for $165 with 31 bids and the buyer paid shipping. Here's another one. It's a field coat. It's wind resistant. It's from the 60s and it sold for $306 with 29 bids. Very cool. The next item are these patches, the uh, military medals, patches, medals and patches. But again, you know, the seller just may not have known or they just didn't care and they wanted to move the inventory. Could be a reseller buying it, could be a collector buying it. We will never know, but it sold for $127.50, 26 bids in the buyer paid shipping. This World War I American Doughboy military helmet sold for $98 with 29 bids. And you can see it's very, very old. Super cool. The next item is this Colt 1911 barrel from World War I. Um, it says decent bore. I have no idea what this, is it part of a gun? I really don't know. But this sold for $778 with 43 bids. So if you know what to look for, definitely look for this. This antique World War I vintage Nether Netherlands keepy military hat. Holland, Dutch, Netherland, Cappy. I don't know what all those words mean, but they're obviously keywords to bring people to the listing. And it sold for $163.50 with 19 bids. The next item is this vintage 1940s World War II denim jacket. It's got the little navy button. I would have never known that this was military. So that is good to know. I mean, I guess it's the buttons. Is that how you know? This uh, is from the 1940s. It sold for $534 with 41 bids. All right. This is a World War II Japanese photo album with 48 photographs. Just going to show you. This sold for $138.50 with 34 bids. This is a good one. The original World War II watch cap, USN watch cap. It's a beanie, guys. It's a beanie. Sold for $177.50. 32 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is, this is the one that might surprise you guys. These are letters, uh, 30 World War II letters. And I'm guessing that the person that bought these letters, probably read through them. And let's see if they give us any information down here. Says, written by a soldier who was in the 11th Australian Field Ambulance. The letters from 1943 to 1945. I currently have other items listed that belong to this person. This sold for $70 with 30 bids. I want to see what they started the auction at. I wonder if they knew that this was going to be good. Started it at one cent. So I'm guessing that this seller maybe didn't know, or maybe they start all their auctions at one cent. Let's look. Sometimes I like to do this. Um, let's see. Let's go to auctions. Lowest first. So you can see here, they've got a whole bunch of items. 
starting at one cent. And it looks like this is what they do. They find old paper items and they list them, but items are selling for one cent. I want to check out. I want to see their solds. Sorry, I'm going, I'm getting sidetracked, but I think this is super interesting. So you can see here, they sold a bunch of items for one cent, but you can also see here that this one letter sold for $405. World War II letter, 1945, missing in action. Wow, $405, same thing, missing in action. So if you can find war letters for missing in action that talk about missing in action, look how much those are going for. Wow, missing in action. Look at these prices. I would have never have known. I'm so glad I pulled this up and shared this with you guys because right now, this is me learning and you learning because I'm taking an extra minute to look at something and it could have showed up nothing. You know, I may have not found anything that I didn't already know, but uh, these are single letters going for really big bucks. And I'm wondering if they start all of these out at one cent. Yep, one cent. But I don't know. Let's see, show automatic bids. How did it jump from one cent to $1.77 to 202 to 122? That's weird. I don't really understand all of the, unless that was the high bid and it doesn't show. I don't know. But you can see here just tons and tons of letters. See, this is a widowed mother document. Hmm. It's like the sad stuff that is going for so much more money, like missing in action. And man, so it's so sad. So yeah, this seller definitely, definitely, um, this is what they do. This is what they sell. It's their thing and they're doing a great job. So very cool. Does anybody in the group or... I should, I say group because so many people in my Facebook group watch my channel. Does anybody that is watching sell stuff like this? And how do you deal with it? Here's another one. This is a, this one's 1941. It's about the Pearl Harbor attack. Um, sold for $78 and 77 cents, 26 bids. So this is a poster, a 1945 World War II poster. Sold for $66 with 25 bids. These vintage um, goggles sold for $207.50 with 24 bids. This is a old original vintage 1940s World War II Imperial J Japanese cotton flag. Um, I thought it was paper. Sold for $365 with 22 bids. Uh, buyer paid shipping. This is a USMC basketball uniform set, World War II vintage original. Sold for $50.05. This is a World War II jungle first aid kit. Sold for $58 with 20 bids. So it's just a little pouch with the vintage first aid stuff. Super cool. This is a World War II booklet, 1945 souvenirs, Japanese flags, rifles, guns, books. So it looks like it's some sort of a booklet or brochure type deal sold for $112.51. 18 bids, buyer paid shipping. And the last item is this helmet. It sold for $421 with 16 bids. So definitely, definitely do your homework if you see vintage military items. And the last item is this full like bodysuit coverall type deal. It's camo. It sold for $177.70 with 15 bids in the buyer paid shipping. So I definitely learned something new in this video. How about you guys? If you did, comment below. I really appreciate comments. They help bump me in the search. Um, comment, like, subscribe, and share and have an awesome night and I'll see you guys soon. And if you haven't subscribed, not subscribed, joined my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, the information's down there. I also have a Twitter and a Pinterest and a Instagram. I think all the information's down there for all of them except 
Pinterest, but I'm Bolo Buddies on Pinterest also. I share in the Pinterest new there. So thanks for watching. Have a great night.